I have a very unique background. I've been a judge right here in Fort Bend County. I've been a prosecutor right here in Fort Bend County. I've been an assistant county attorney right here in Fort Bend County, and I've been a defense attorney, and I pretty much limit our practice right here. When I pick up a DWI file, or a client comes in and visits with me for the first time, once I review the file and watch the video, I am able to bring to bear a whole different perspective. I can look at it from a judicial point of view and think, how would this play out in front of a jury? I can look at it as the prosecutors would and think, what are the strengths for this, of this case and, and why should this person be convicted? More importantly, I can look at this as a defense attorney and say, what are the weaknesses of the state's case and say, how can this be put in the best light for the jury to see? And all this can be brought together to provide you with the very best defense possible. There is nothing like getting a not guilty or getting a dismissal in a case because that means that we went in there and we were able to show that the police were overzealous in, in their um, prosecution of the case, that they went in there and they jumped to conclusions that they shouldn't have, that they, um, they erroneously looked at the evidence. And my job is to go in there and review that exact same evidence and show the district attorney or show a jury why they should reach a different conclusion. The law itself hasn't changed, but the way the laws are enforced have. When, when people my age and older were growing up, if you got in trouble, they'd just call your parents and tell them to come get you. You'd go home and your folks would take care of it. Now, if you get pulled over, they're going to arrest you. Why? Because they have to justify their budget, why they're on the road, what are they doing with their time out there. It's zero tolerance out there. And unfortunately, you're the one that bears the brunt of that. They're going to come out and they're going to try and make their quota on your back. They're going to come out and if they can come up with any reason whatsoever to arrest you, they're going to do so. If that happens, if you've been arrested, period, you need to call me, you need to come in and meet with me, and we need to review your case. Because many times, the clients were just, were just railroaded right through the system. The police officers arrested them with very little evidence, if anything, thinking that it would just squeak through the system. I'm not going to let that happen to you.